Now that we've gone over the adjustment options, we can go ahead and export this book as a PDF to see what it looks like. First, we'll need to return to multi-page view, so click over here. Now click the export to PDF button. I'll save it on my desktop, so I'll just call it book sample one and click save. The book may take some time to export depending on the quality settings you've used. The larger the file size, the longer it'll take. And you can see the progress over here. Okay, so the export is finished. I'll just go onto my desktop and here's the book. And so this is what it looks like. We can see that each photo takes up one page. And here's the table of contents. So you can flip through each page in your book. And if you wanted to print it, you could go ahead and do so directly from your uh, PDF viewer. So I'll just close that down and return to Lightroom. Now there are other methods uh, that we can use for publishing this book. Scroll back up to the book settings and we're going to change from PDF to JPEG. And what will happen here is that the book will be exported as JPEG images. So let's go ahead and do that just to see how it looks. I'll click on export to JPEG and I'm going to make um, a folder on my, on my desktop. I'll save it as uh, my book in the uh, book JPEG folder. So I'll click save there. And it, again, it'll take a second to export all the images. I'll go back to the desktop and open that folder. I'll open my book and you can see all the images inside there. So each page of the book is an individual JPEG file. And remember that you can always set the quality of the JPEGs uh, over here. I exported that at 60. I should have done 100. It would have just taken a little bit longer, but you get better quality.